have to swim. We do have a long distance swim event in May each year. It's a 20 kilometre or 10 kilometre swim event. It's only a couple of weekends away. Um, we don't lose a lot of people in that event, so it is considered safe for swimming. And we are going to have a couple of swims on the cruise today. Early swim to take the heat out, then a long swim at sunset time, watching the sun disappear over the horizon. Even though it's an enormous body of water, there is only one access point to the water for the general public with boats. That's the boat route we're about to go down now. It is loose and uneven on the surface. When we get down to the bottom, watch your step, take your time, use a little bit of caution, just watch out for that uneven ground. Easter is historically our busiest recreational weekend. The swim is a little bit busier with a number of boats and so forth, but um, Easter is generally our busiest recreational weekend and as you can see there's a fair few people out on the water. How did I know that was going to happen? Early on in the trip, we are going to be talking about water levels in the lake and in a second, up on our left hand side, we're going past a sign, a maximum flood level sign. It is a calculated 150 year flood level. Hasn't been achieved up till now, but if we have the 150 year flood occur, the sign on our left is where they think the water level could get to. Hasn't been achieved up to this point in time. Now the boat we're going out on, the closer of the boats, faster of the boats, when we pull up straight around the front of the bus, straight on board the front of the boat, spread yourselves out a bit on both sides, we'll do a little bit of a safety orientation and we'll get you on out onto the water. Uh, we'll just wait for a little bit of a traffic jam that's going on here. Once again, when you hop off the bus, watch your step, take your time, more than enough room on the 